There's nothing chasing anything at the moment. Another hit, got him, got him. We got him guys, we've got another hook up. And we got another one guys. Oh, that's even bigger I think. Wow, this is super fun. Just taking a little bit of drag. Take it. Welcome back. We're on the Outer Harbour break wall today. Somewhere I've only really fished once or twice in my life. We're trying a few different things, and in fact, one thing's already working. We've got our first squiddly diddly. Um, just had a teaser out with a Tommy on it. Got set up. Just got to keep the tension on. It's not a squiddly diddly. Thought it might have been a small squiddly diddly. It's actually a a blue swimmer. So that's a bit frustrating. But uh, I'll get him back out there. Hopefully the next pull down is the, the squid. So the other thing I'm gonna try today is the, uh, the gulp turtleback worm, pumpkin seed, seven inch, uh, with the bait junkie one six jig head one oh. Just see what's around, there might be, who knows, salmon could take that, whiting obviously. Um, we could also, get an odd trevally or something else. And the other thing we're testing out today, which should hopefully improve the videos and always make sure I've got two angles going, is testing out the, uh, the GoPro remote, which can um, control up to five GoPros at once. I've only got the two. When I want to start recording, I just hit the button rather than, if you saw my last video down at Merino, I felt like I missed some stuff because I had to sort of turn both cameras on before I started winding in and whatever. So this is the turtle back in the pumpkin seed. We can obviously cut them down. May even need a stinger hook, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, yeah, okay, our float's under again. Let's see if that's another crab or finally we've got the squid that we were looking for. Does it, again, it doesn't feel like a squid. Oh, it's heavier, but it doesn't have that real pulsing action. No, nah, I might just, unless it let go. Can't see a squid down there. Just gonna bring it in. We can, we'll soon find out by, yeah, it's definitely a crab because it's just absolutely munched the, munched the head. Anyway, let's keep going. There may be a sneaky squid out there that's playing games, but keen to flick this worm out there and see what we can get excited. I'm gonna give that plenty of time to sink. Oh, oh, that could have been some action. Yeah, I'm getting some bite. Oh, what is it? Definitely getting some bites. Oops, don't want to sip off the rock. Definitely getting some action bites there. Of course, we could get some, you know, leather jackets or something like that down here as well. I don't think I've brought any little hooks with me that I could, no, I don't think I do. I mean, I've got some tiny, I guess I could use, a t I might have a tiny jig head that I could use as a, as a keeper hook or as a teaser or stinger sorry stinger hook but good to get some bites nonetheless oh it's almost like they've got it in their mouth but not soiling it all the way all right we've got something else on this float here we're just gonna it's gone all the way sort of under now right, let's let go and see what happens might just be these might just be crabs like just because the other one we've got over here doesn't seem to have had any action at all. Need some crab nets. Yeah, that's being absolutely destroyed. I've only got four Tommies, that's all, so I don't want to waste them. So we'll try and get you know, the most out of it that we can. And I'm actually just so we don't get on the rocks or whatever, just try and Put that there. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Another slip on the rocks. That'll make a good short. <laughs> Feel like I want to try in that weedy patch down there with this worm too. So we'll just see how this spot goes, and we might, we might move down there. So just again, that float there is going that way. I mean, everything's going that way. So I'm just gonna wind in the slack. Uh, there's nothing there. It's very strange. I brought in the teaser because it's just having this out and having the teaser out, it 
getting in the way of everything. And, you know, sometimes fishing, keep it simple, is the, the best option. It's a lovely day today. It's about 22 degrees, 21, 22 degrees. The weatherman did slightly get it wrong again. It was supposed to be a pretty much a straight southerly and it's a southwesterly. So it's a bit annoying because I would have liked it going straight out that way, but it's going more that way. But anyway, we'll persevere. It's sort of, you know, how can there not be fish out there sort of scenario. Or squid. It's going to give it a couple more flicks with this turtle back. And then if we don't... <coughs> If we don't get something on the turtle back, we'll, uh, we're gonna try an X-Wrap, I think. Who knows, it could be some salmon or something around. So the wind's picked up uh, a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm really confused as to why the, the current's going that way, yet all the wind and the tide's coming in, so it should be going that way. Definitely getting a little bit more of a chop. So what I'm gonna do is take the uh, squid jig off and actually just try it with a straight um, teaser jag on the on the t-curve see if we get any action that way because i'm sure there's got to be squid out here right we just got to get them on and you know don't want to just bloody be catching blue swimmer crabs on the teaser so we've just moved up the rock uh, the outer harbor rock wall just a little bit yeah we've got the um We've got the Tommy out there still. Um, just gonna try the Rapala Crush City Prawn. Gonna put it on with a TT 112th 10 hidden weight system jig head. Probably a little bit small, but I didn't have any larger hooks in the hidden weight system and I really do like the prawn presented like that. So it's probably just gonna come back at the back of the head. As I said, probably just not quite big enough, but we'll give it a go. And being a 112th jig head, it should have a fairly natural sink. The other lure I wouldn't, soft plastic I wouldn't mind trying is the, uh, is the baby squid ones. If you saw my Lee breakwater from um, a few months ago, just around Christmas time, I caught a reasonable salmon off of the breakwater there with that baby squid. We just don't seem to be getting a lot of action at all on these squid floats. Let's go about prawny prawn prawn. It's probably not gonna cast great. No, it's not too bad and really just going to let that sink because as I said it's only on a 112th jig head and we just need something that likes to eat prawns to come along we can see how much the tides come up that's at least come up nearly a metre because that's the rock I fell over on before just want to have a look at that I can't really see it his legs are doing that sort of thing I guess be good for a brim or something for sure well guys i'm not going to die on a uh, ditch uh flog a dead horse uh, i'm actually just going to move not too far but just down into this sandy patch here probably about 30 40 meters along um, just see if there's something else there i just haven't had any action whatsoever i have to admit i was supposed to get up and fish here this morning but i just didn't make it so maybe it's the wrong time of day pretty frustrating i'm feeling pretty useless at the moment to be honest but um, that's fishing, I guess. So slowly but surely, I'll pack all this gear up, move down there, and then we'll see if we can get some more success for you guys. So we've just moved down from over there. Uh, you can see the Largs uh, Beach over there. Got the uh, squid teaser float back out. Still just uh, fishing with the Rapala Crush City, or Imposter, I think it is, Crush City Imposter prawn. You probably can't see it, there's tiny little micro bait fish down here. But uh, yeah, feeling a bit, a bit crap. Interesting, those bait fish just started to go the other way. So I don't know if there's something following them. I mean, I'm really lucky to be get out here to be able to do this stuff. But I guess there's only so many videos I can post where I don't catch a fish where you guys aren't going to be impressed <laughs> or want to watch anymore. But I'm trying new things. Like, you know, someone said to me, go try out a harbour break wall. Okay trying it what else can we catch here i don't really have the the fitness to go all the way out to the end like some people do 
unfortunately. It's not the easiest of break wall to climb across. And I guess if the fish aren't here, the fish aren't here, right? What else can we try? What else can we try? I've, yeah, these little tiny fish are going back and forth, back and forth. It's pretty clear water. I can't see anything sort of chasing them. Well, we're using the TT switch prawn now. I'm really trying to find anything that's going to work out here. Haven't had any follows. Seen a few little schools, but the mood has not changed. <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive like we all should when we're fishing, but I don't know. Do we need to try a different spot? Probably. Can I be bothered? Probably not. <laughs> I'd be happy just with the salmon trout today, to be honest. One fish, just so it's not a donut. I think I'm going to have to go back to fishing over on York Peninsula, guys. This uh, metro action hasn't really uh, inspired me to uh, keep doing it. It's probably not inspiring you either, I wouldn't think. I guess what I would like to just quickly touch on is um, during the week I ran a poll on my um, community page about you know what stops you from going fishing and it was overwhelmingly sort of close to 60% work. Work commitments was the big thing. And I just, you know, I know times are tough at the moment, cost of living crisis, all of that. And believe me, my own business, I do business development, uh, consulting and my own business is, is not doing great at the moment, but that's just meaning that I'm having to find more time to go fishing just to keep me sane. And you guys keep me sane by giving me a purpose to do these YouTube videos. Not sure what sort of plane that is, but another reason why I haven't put the drone up today, A, it's pretty windy as you can see. B, we've had lots of planes going over. I don't even know if I turn it on, it might even say it's a restricted zone. But yeah, sorry, getting back to it, I guess, um, a couple of things, I've had some people reach out to me in the past when I've talked about, you know, mental health, etc. And don't hesitate to, because what I've learned about mental health over probably the last four years or so is that it doesn't get any better by not talking to people about it. I do think there's a lot of pressure on us guys to, you know, bring home the bacon and, you know, make sure that the family is financially secure and all those sorts of things. But not saying that, that women don't contribute, because they absolutely do. Yeah, I think we still need to really find time to be able to do, uh, to be able to talk to each other about these sorts of things, because otherwise it can just well up. I just wanted to put it out there, so if you do feel like you need to talk, you know, slide into my Instagram DMs or whatever else, Facebook, or do what I did many years ago, go see your doctor, get a mental health plan. There's no shame in it. So, we saw a heap of those little bait fish swimming back and forth, and I reckon they're about that size that we've got of the, um, the micro finesse, uh, what are they? Shad fries -y. Haven't used them for a while. Might go the blue glimmer. Sort of that baby pilchity sort of colour. Gotta find a jig head for it. I've packed light, but there's still a crap load of stuff in here. <laughs> I've got some smaller ones in here. I know that for sure. Just about finding them. Here we go. Yeah, we've got some 112th size one light finesse hooks with the painted jig head. Let's just see where that's gonna come out. Yeah, pretty much on that first, uh, that first little bit there. I have caught Tommy's on these before. So is there somewhere where you'd like me to try fishing where you think I'm gonna have more chance? <laughs> yes, everyone said Rapid Bay, but uh, it's a long way. I really have to make a Rapid Bay trip like an overnighter slash couple of days, because it's literally five hours round trip driving for me, which you know, is a pretty fair commitment. I know there's some kingies down there. Congrats to Ollie and Jordan SA Fishing who've caught some kingies on the kayak. I'd love to float a balloon down there. Yeah, I just didn't think it was going to be this windy today. Y yesterday was supposed to be the big windy day. I guess I wasn't here, so I'm assuming it was windier than what it is now. I'm just going to, if the, I mean, it's, it's not a bad situation because the wind is definitely strong that way, but the current is coming this way. So it means we can cast a fairly reasonable way and then you know bring it back with the current it's going to give it a really slow roll i think if we hook onto something we'll know about it this is uh this is my radar one to three kilo Whoop. i thought i had a bite there with the 2500 shimano nasi uh, shimano ultegra reel six pound braid eight pound shimano f leader I really do want to catch a fish. Like I really feel like I need to catch a fish. 
there's nothing chasing anything at the moment it's 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 a tiny uh you know 1.75 finesse yeah so it should be perfect for a salmon tommy ruff just don't know what you gotta do i'm really regretting not getting up this morning and going now because all the fish apps said that was much better bites this morning than this afternoon we hooked on to something i think it's a salmon it's a reasonable size one I was just flicking a tiny, I reckon it's only about a 10 grand lure. Getting some good head shakes here. Yeah, it's definitely a salmon. Finally. Feels reasonable size. It's taking a little bit of drag. Taking a jump. Oh. Just remember this is only uh, six pound braid, J braid, eight pound OSHA F leader. Just letting him tire himself out a bit. Oh, he got off! Spewing! My God! Oh, so annoying, but I couldn't fight him any harder than that. I honestly couldn't fight him any harder than that. Go back out to where I was. They are schooling creatures. Well, but at least that was a bit of fun. <laughs> got to watch when they jump they can yeah throw hooks damn got the adrenaline going and we got another one guys oh that's even bigger I think I think he's swimming in with me now he's taking some drag oh, wow this is super fun Oh, are we connected? I don't even know how we're recording. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, he's trying to brick me. Oh, this could be a bigger fish. And this stupid remote. Are we recording? Reasonable salmon that got off that you might have seen. I hope you did. I'm trying to work out this bloody camera. We've got another one hooked on that's even bigger. Oh, what is it? Or is it just a bit of weed? There was a fish in there as well. There's gotta be a fish in there. Yeah, there's a fish under it. Cause there's a big piece of weed, but I can definitely feel head shakes. So we're going to have to try and, yeah, see that? The fish is going down. What's going on? That's leader. And it's taking drag. So it may, may not be as big a fish. It may just be because he tried to brick me in the, oh yeah, he's right there. I can, no, is that his eye? <laughs> yeah, there he is there. Yeah, reasonable salmon. Oh, he's sort of foul hooked here too. I've got leader. Yeah. I'm just sort of want to calm him down. I don't want to get a treble in my hand. Should have bought that Inku landing net, guys. We've got him, though. We've got him. How did I do that? Foul hooked. The salmon. Oh. Oh. Where are you guys? Up there. Well, I don't feel like such a failure now. Woo! That's a... Uh, as I said, I foul hooked him on the side and he obviously went down in the, in the weeds. Just gonna hold him there so he doesn't get off. But yeah, that's a pretty nice salmon. We're gonna bleed him and uh, see if we can get out there. There's obviously some more out there. Let's 
just get some blood out of that. So you just break their necks and let them bleed. <laughs> Fun. I don't feel like the worst fisherman in South Australia now. Now guys, got to sort out this bloody seaweed situation as well. I'm sure we've still got that on there. Absolutely stoked. And what a great fight on the Shimano Raider with the uh, 2500 Ultegra reel. Oh, my heart is racing. Look, it's just a salmon, like, woohoo, big deal. But you know, you know how I was feeling. I was feeling really crap about making videos for you guys where I don't catch anything. Give us a subscribe, a like, all that stuff, guys, because I'm pumped and really keen. All right, we're clear, guys. Let's uh, keep rolling and see if we can't get another salmon. So that's the jig. It's a really old jig. Has got new trebles on it. Hopefully they're still out there because I'd love to get two or three. I don't want to be greedy, but oh, I am so happy now. I know it's only one fish, a couple of hookups and the one fish, but God, I thought literally today was going to be an absolute no go zone. Donut day. Oh. I think we've run out of battery. If we hook up to another one, we're just going to have to rely on the... Uh... Oh, yeah, that was a hit. All right, so that hit just out by that weed line there. How cool is that? Big MSC coming in. MSC, Mediterranean Shipping Company. I used to work in freight forwarding. Used to go out sometimes on those vessels and say hello to the crew every now and then or take clients out. All right, I just got to slow down the uh, retrieve because they really grabbed it on the slower retrieve. I can't believe I had that by its skin on its side. The first one was definitely in the mouth because uh, that's how he shook the hooks. He took the... Uh... How cool is that? Yep, another hit, another hit, another hit, got him, got him, we got him guys, we got another hook up, beautiful, let's go. Yeah, it's another salmon, oh, he's a big jump, nice fish, alright, so I'm just going to let him, without hopefully jumping too much, I think he's going to jump again. We want to turn his head, turn him, get away from those rocks. Come back here. This is so much fun on this light gear, guys. Oh, and look at the waves going to be coming in because of that ship. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, got wet. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Hopefully there's no too big a waves out there. Oh, no, he got off again. No, no. Yes, he did. Crap, right there he got off. That's so annoying. Because, like, I was just worried about all that water. But, hope, I mean, they're the big bow waves, so they're hopefully the, the worst of it. Wow. I can wash everything down when I get home. That's, that's not a problem. Oh, saw another one just flash past. So they're only just out here, guys. I'm gonna quickly, and it may be a bad mistake, but I'm gonna quickly change this head cam over. I'm going to put all this stuff up a bit higher. All right, now I'm going to check how much is on this one too, because I might as well do both of them at the same time. Yeah, that's going to die. So that was one expensive wave. It completely drenched my guy with sling bag and killed three GoPro batteries. It also impacted some of the filming coming up. On the X-Rap. Got another salmon finally. It's not as big as the other one, or the other two really, three. 
but it's got a bit of a fight and hopefully with the new extra trebles that we've got we won't lose him there's a few others around following him seeing wear himself out because he shouldn't get off these hooks we're just gonna land him over here nice fish hooked on here conscious of those trebles got him right there beautiful little fish now these rocks are getting a little bit wet he's a nice fish on that x wrap thanks to the guys at sports scene i picked that up just today and that one's out just gotta get this one out it was well hooked so yeah just just a little bit smaller than the other one but still a good fish and uh we'll do what we did with the last one we're just gonna bleed him put him that way on the rock so he doesn't fall off we'll go get another one eh i'm not sure how fast the schools move through here of the salmon because there was quite a few that followed him in. Heaps of fun on this uh, one to three kilo rod. We're just not getting any action on that squid rod. So I'm just going to bring it in just for the fact that I'd rather be completely clear in the event that we do hook a really a lot bigger one. And you know, when we're casting in that, we want to be able to fan our cast. I think it's literally it's literally just crabs that are jumping onto that. So we're going to get it off. Bit of barely for the salmon. And keep going. So we caught one on the metal. And we've caught... Well, we hooked three. Landed one on the metal. And we've hooked one and landed one on the... On the X... Uh, on the uh, x -rap. Let's keep persisting. So this is... I can probably get a photo and put it in of the packet of this x wrap Really just want to get that hook up, hey guys. Much more confidence with those trebles compared to the trebles on that smaller metal slug. At least I know I've got two sets of trebles, so I'm probably likely to actually hook them a couple of times. Give me a bit better chance. Still can't believe that I caught that other one on the slug with just one, with just the treble in its side. As per this one, some reasonable waves coming in. And my feet are soaking wet, but hey, I don't care if we're catch, gonna catch more fish. With the better waves and stuff, it's sort of perfect for the salmon. realize with all these waves and splashing I probably should have checked my front my head camera front lens just keeping an eye on these waves because the wind's going that way I'm literally going to cast along the rocks and the wind should yeah as it has just brought it back out to the left Yeah, they seem to be just sort of random schools of salmon coming through, so we'll see how long we keep going for. I don't even know what the time is, but it's not cold. It's a little bit windy, but it's not cold. And there's a chance of some fish, so why would you leave? We got another one, guys. Just random again on the x wrap Sun's coming down. Good bend in that rod. The... I think it's a salmon. Yeah, it's a salmon. Could be a trevally. No, it's a salmon, I think. Yeah, it's a salmon. Just going around and there's his jump. And yeah, sorry, the wide angle lens isn't working again. I think I've got to dry everything out properly. Just letting him do his thing. We'll land him back up over here like we did that last one. He's definitely going. 
these, these are really fun to catch these fish and yeah there's a few others down there with him I think just gonna move across over here need to get him up out of those rocks keep an eye on these incoming waves we let these next few go through he's well hooked I think he's got double double trebles in him so always right at the end as you've seen already in the video is where we tend to lose them if we're going to lose them but not this one come here buddy again sorry guys you can't see this but just conscious of the trebles uh, so a little bit smaller but that's uh, three wait that rock moves awesome I'm improvise it oh that was lucky because that could have been both a lost fish and or a treble in my hand there we go nice uh, nice salmon he's probably half a kilo to 800 grams I think maybe I need to put my um, pliers on that side because I tend to hold the fish with my right hand let me get my finger through there they just again and he can go in the bag and uh, yeah we'll go again eh? Uh, probably another half an hour or so um, which will probably only be a couple of minutes for you guys but uh, we'll see uh, we'll see if we can catch some more on this sunset Got another one guys didn't get the live hook up sorry we just casted down the uh, down the uh, parallel with the rock wall and we got a, a, a bop and then a grab this one feels all right probably about the same as the second one hey great jump in that in that water with the sun oh he's really trying to shake these hooks He's a little bit bigger actually. I haven't felt the hooks go yet. I'm gonna actually give him a little bit of drag because I think I had it done up a bit too tight. That's it, he can take a little bit of drag to wear him out. They're good size. This is number what four? All right, we're going to get back over here, guys. Again, sorry I don't have the wide view for you. But we're catching fish, so who cares? Come here, buddy. He's actually got that extract right in his mouth, so he's not going anywhere. I think he has. Yeah, he has. Conscious, again, of fingers. That's, that's a pretty good one, guys. It's one of the better ones for today. Probably the second biggest, I think. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't going to be shaking any hooks there. He's got that right, he's got that right down his gob. So you know the fishing spot I'm at if you're planning on coming down here to try this in the next few days after seeing my vid. Plenty of uh, aftermath on the rock here. So yeah, lovely, lovely size Sambo. So we'll try that again for you guys. starting just to get dark so that sun's just starting to hit the other side of uh, the channel and with four really good fish I'm going to be happy with that and say thanks very much guys for watching thanks for your support would love a like and a subscribe I don't always catch but when I do bloody I love it and watch this uh, video here next